What's up guys out in Detroit, Michigan, picking up a new load on a Monday. Finally didn't spend a whole day sitting at a truck stop. Picking up two pallets with boxes. And we got one crate. Total weight is 3,067 pounds. Let's get it strapped down and tarp. Alright, got everything strapped down, tarped down. Here's what we got. Let's go on the other side because the sun is messing it up. Use three straps on everything. It's about 16 feet long. Got half the trailer open. See if we can find another load. And this load is going to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. But we're going to try to find another partial, hopefully. If not, I'll just hit the road. Don't want to waste any time. I was able to pick up a second load. Picking up these rings, which are covered in grease. Covered in grease, and I have to throw a tarp over them as well. So all that grease is going to be on the tarp. That sucks. But let's get them strapped down. It's about 3,800 pounds. Get some straps on it and tarp it up. All right, I'm gonna do some crisscross strapping on this one.
That's pretty solid. All right guys, here's what we get. Two straps crisscrossed on the front one, two straps crisscrossed on the back pallet, and one across. I'm gonna throw a tarp on it, and then I'll show you guys what we got. All right, got everything tarped. This one is going to get dropped off first. That's going to Bonaterra, Missouri. And the uh, one up front is going to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. All right, guys, let's hit the road. So I picked up my first load yesterday on Monday, the one that's going to Oklahoma City. And it was really scheduled for a Tuesday morning pickup, but I got lucky to pick it up Monday and decided to stay in uh, Detroit, Michigan overnight just because half of the trailer was empty and I had a I mean this load is only 3,000 pounds so I wanted to see if we can find another load because it kind of you know driving with half a trailer empty doesn't feel right it's always nice to pack it up and make some more money so this morning we found two loads I was supposed to pick up a small scissor lift machine and like a 19 foot uh, truck chassis like a cabin chassis truck 
So I went to pick up my first load, which is the scissor lift. While I was pulling up to the shipper, the broker called and said, hold on, don't go yet, because we have to verify this with a customer. So I was already at the shipper, I pulled in, I was just waiting there. And you know, they, after about an hour, they said, okay, you're good to go to load it, pick it up. So the shipper went to get the scissor lift and then about 10 minutes afterwards, he comes back and says, we can't get the engine started, so we can't ship it. We're gonna cancel this load. While I was sitting there waiting for this load, the second load, the truck, the cabin chassis truck, called and said that, uh, they called and said that the shipper is not gonna be there until Thursday, so it's not available to go until Thursday. So that load got canceled as well. So I had two canceled loads this morning. So after that, we were lucky to find this addition to my first load. It sucks that it killed half a day waiting around for a load, but was able to get that second load and now we're headed towards our destination. First drop is gonna be in Bonneterre, Missouri, and second one is Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Drop the second one off by Thursday morning and try to get something nice out of there to make up for the lost time. All right guys, just made it to the receiver for the first drop. About to get these rings off of the trailer. Lighten up the load a little bit and head on over to Oklahoma City for the other final drop. Alright guys, just dropped off my load in Oklahoma City. I'm gonna wrap all this stuff up. Got my blankets, gonna fold up my tarp, put everything away, and give my dispatcher a call, see if there's anything. If not, head to a truck stop and look for a load while I'm sitting. Let's get it all wrapped up. Alright guys, driving in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, going to pick up a load, going to St. Louis, Missouri. Spent my Thursday in Oklahoma City, couldn't get a load. I mean, we did find some loads, but you know, when you book it and then they call you back and say, oh, I'm sorry, we need a semi truck, not a hot shot. Been getting a lot of those for some reason. In 800 feet, you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived. Oh, it seems like a Toyota place. Let me give him a call and see where I need to be. Here's what we got, 13,000 pounds of wrecking material. I'm 
about to strap this stuff down and hit the road about a ten and a half hour drive to st louis from dallas all right got everything strapped down we got three straps on the front bundle one running through the center of the bottom bundle and two over the top bundle we got one strap on these two pallets in the front we got two straps on the second row of pallets and we get three straps over the last bundle one over the bottom row of bundles and two over the top bundle Right, guys ready to hit the road good morning guys driving through the st louis metropolitan area i'll be dropping my trailer in the parking lot where i usually leave it for the weekend going to my parents house and then on monday drop my load and go from there i've got a issue on the truck one of my rear air suspension leveling sensors i think it's messed up because my driver's side lifts up higher than the passenger side and it seems like it's way too high and it seems like it rides a little bouncy pretty rough so I've got a sensor that I ordered unfortunately it's not gonna get here until Tuesday morning so I might be stuck here until Tuesday because I can't drive like this with the with the truck being unleveled it's pretty pretty rough need to get that taken care of unfortunately I missed the I called the dealer a little bit too late by 35 minutes otherwise they would have had it on Saturday but who knew this week is a pretty slow week for me had a lot of cancellations on loads I think I had about four loads cancel on me unfortunately so got stuck in Oklahoma City on Thursday didn't get out until Friday seems like the past two weeks have been pretty rough not very good for me hopefully things will change for the better all right guys just dropped off the trailer till Monday I'm gonna enjoy my weekend I appreciate you guys watching the video. I will see you in the next one.